Hi there. Well, for our first demonstration today, we are looking at this very common chemical compound, water. What is the chemical formula for water? Yes, it's H2O. There are two hydrogen atoms for every one oxygen atom. Here we have it in its liquid form. If we freeze it, what does it turn into? Correct, it's still H2O. If you take that water and you heat it and it turns into steam, now what is it turning into? It's still H2O. These are examples of physical changes because the chemical formula isn't changing. In each case, it is still H2O. If I take a piece of my H2O and place it on one of these plates, we can see a change occurring. It's alive! That ice is melting into a liquid puddle. Hmm. Why isn't this one melting? What other ideas do you have? These are both water, H2O, blocks of ice. That is different from this right here. This is dry ice. Big batch of dry ice that I got from Ed Drew's. You cannot buy it at Ted Drew's because you are not 18. This is very cold. It is negative 78.5 degrees on the Celsius scale, negative 109.3 on the Fahrenheit scale. And at 100 degrees below zero, that can do damage to your skin, which is why they will not sell it to minors. Let my fork tell you how painful that would be. What's happening here is those metal tines are getting super cooled by the ice. is that it's super cooling. So the chemical composition of dry ice is, yes, it's CO2, carbon dioxide. The same as what you're exhaling. Here we have carbon dioxide. Here we have more carbon dioxide. What kind of a change is that? Yes, that is a physical change because we started with a big chunk of carbon dioxide and now we just have more small pieces, but they all still are CO2. Use small ones. I'm going to take some of this and place it into a balloon so you can see what happens as it heats up. I didn't touch it, I put it in the balloon. You shouldn't touch it because you'll get frostbite. All right, and I will leave that right here for you to observe. Notice what's happened to this piece of ice. That ice that's right there has melted into a puddle. When we take a piece of this dry ice, this carbon dioxide, you'll observe that it is not turning into a puddle. That's why it's called dry ice. This super cold CO2 turns directly into a gas. It goes from the solid to a gas without the liquid intermediate stage. That's called subliming. So since it doesn't make this liquid puddle in the middle, that's why it is referred to as dry ice.